Hello everyone, welcome back to Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe. And honestly, um, it's been a while since I've touched this game uh, in terms of recording, and by that I mean I haven't recorded like this series in over a month. Uh, it looks like I was d expanding further. Hmm. You know, I'm currently challenging myself to uh, use only road vehicles, so that's what I'm going to continue doing, I suppose. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to see how this continues to go. I'm probably going to extend a bus line out to Chensaw here. So let's just get a town road and get a bus stop out here, shall we? There we go. Because that gives me ample uh, bus opportunities. I seem to always forget where I place my depots, though, for road vehicles, which really isn't helpful and just shows that I'm not exactly the most competent at this game. But I'm sure I'll figure it out. I'll just uh, use a road vehicle depot here instead. There we go. I don't need your trains because I need buses. Sort by passengers. Give me bus. Give me the bus. Give me, uh, hmm. Maybe I'll go with the regal bus just so I have a bus. I don't know. I'm just doing, uh, transportation stuff, I guess. And I'm gonna send the bus up through Mean Hill Central. Who names their town Mean Hill? Like, seriously, why is your town named Mean Hill? I don't even know. You know, what I do know is I'm going to do my unloading and full loading of cargo. Or, well, unloading and take cargo. There we go. So you'll have one for now. But, yeah, well, I'll figure it out. I don't know. Open TDD isn't a game that I play as much as I should in terms of for videos, but I'll change that at some point. I might eventually link the two uh, monorail towns up. Let me look at my uh, company value. No, that's finances. I don't think I'm going to beat Central Ohio Transit Authority, unfortunately. But I'll figure something out, I guess. Road vehicles really aren't worth much, even if it's a monorail, apparently. Let me actually check my town rating here. Check my town rating. Sort by rating, yeah. All of the towns I'm serving are so far so good. Now let's sort by population. I only serve one of the biggest cities, yeah. Jeez, none of the other cities even come close. Let's see if I can uh, get ooh, more subsidies. I wonder where Fort Livershaw. Ooh. See, this is part of my strategy is to just capitalize on subsidies as well, which I guess isn't what Coda does, but it's what I'm going to do. And what I'll do is I'll use a different type of streetcar for this. Because I like to uh, separate my traffic types out, I guess. You could say. Have the tracks run this way. And then I'll also run a track this way to this town. Because I can at least run things, like, easily where I want them to go.
That also allows me to run this system to here, I suppose, which I can't complain about. Make it follow the direction I want the road to go. There we go. Let's do this. And let's do this. And let's do this. There we go. Sure, the track runs somewhat parallel, but it's fine. I'll do that so it doesn't run too parallel with itself. So it means I can connect it via a crossy line here. For lack of a better term, of course. Crossy line is apparently technical now. Do is have the track run this way. That'll allow me to run to a trading port. Even though I really don't necessarily need to run to trading port here, I'm going to anyway. This entire region's just going to be linked up by fucking streetcars at this rate. Like, I'm not even joking. That's what this is starting to look like, is I'm just going to have to link the entire region up via uh, trolley cars. Or not just necessarily trolley cars, obviously, but definitely a lot of town stuff getting linked up today. Honestly, if I had the money, I'd get some Lego sets. Get the Lego tram sets, because I really want the Lego blue tram set. Since that would be nice, I suppose. I don't know, I just think it would be nice to have, I guess. It's interesting because I'm literally just turning the track through everywhere, essentially. There isn't really much places to take the track in some ways, though, so I'll take the track this way for here, I guess. Now what I could do is this, so I could just bring the track down this way, perhaps? And I'll have them all meet right in the middle here. I think that'll allow them to meet in the middle. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll place some stations everywhere, essentially. This area is interesting because I can add both freight and passenger stations to it. But that's for later, obviously. Let's see. So what I'll do is this. And then I'll also, I'm going to add all my stations now, essentially, just so I have them in place. And that'll help me out in the long run, but I'll also put a station here. And then I'll put a station here. And then I'll put a station maybe here. And that'll be that type of station. And then there will be another station here, I think. Let me just check my coverage. Yeah, there will be another station here. And I think lastly, I want another station. Probably here, yeah. For now, anyway. Also want to get another station here? And another station here, even though it kind of misses service in one area, which is an oof. But real-life transit systems do have those minor gaps from time to time, so I'll, I'll figure it out eventually.
There we go. What I'll do is I'll put another station here just because I can, and then I'll also put another station about here-ish, maybe. And then I'll put another station about... Trading port is going to go about here, maybe. And there's going to be another station that I put perhaps here. And then I'll put another station here. I'll definitely put a station in the central area of here for sure. Also put another station there. Yeah, it's going to be a gap, but oh well, I can't do much about it, unfortunately. I'll put another station here. And then another station here. Oh, wait, that's a junction. Lovely. I'll put one here then. That looks like I have a lot of stations. All of this for one area between these. All of this for one fucking subsidy. It's like, might as well just connect the whole fucking region while I'm at it, I guess. <laughs> Uh, take advantage of the junction here, and I'll look at the subsidy again. So it says plan down, plan down to a uh, Fort Livershaw. So what I'll do is I'll get a vehicle. And I'll get a. Uh, I'll get one of these, I think, the three car one, and then I'll just run it from the central to uh, Fort Livershaw. Yeah. There we go. Now I'm also going to add more monorails and uh, trams and whatnot as well. Because obviously this area might need one, or probably will need one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, take that and I'll put that there for now. Because I'll have a tram monorail running around this loop here, yeah. Run it around this loop, I think. And I'll probably make it a two-car monorail. Or, yeah. Maybe I'll make it a tram, just to have a tram, yeah. Make it a tram. And I'll have it run to uh, here, and then it'll run around the loop this direction, I suppose. So yeah, I'll do this, and that'll give me more monorailage. And I'm sure I'll get clever with it in my transfer stops. There we go. Now, obviously, I want another monorail to go around here as well. So what I'll do is I'll add more stations to this region, I suppose. And what I'll do is I'll add another station here. And that'll give me two stations. Or well, a bigger station. And then I'll just slap down another one here, yeah. Looks like I do... No, maybe not. There will be a slight coverage gap if I don't, though. So I'll just add that one like that, and then I'll add this one, and then I'll add a station here. What that'll do is I'll just use this as, like, an, you know, a big monorail station thing. Trains can't exist on junction, so I'll just do that. That'll allow me to have another tram running, essentially. I'll distinguish the lines by the type of rolling stock they use as well. 
but I'm essentially going to run most of these lines clockwise or so. Yeah. In this general direction, really. I'm going to run most of the lines this way. And that'll just allow transfers. And I think that'll actually benefit the town to have these transfers here. I think it'll greatly benefit the region. So if I distinguish each line by the type of trains it gets, and yeah, this one will probably have to get a system going this way in it as well. It's difficult. But yeah, it's fine. I'm just, yeah, figuring it out, I guess. Yeah. So far, though, I think it's decent. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it play out, I guess. Let the subsidy uh, play out now. And I'm sure it'll be fine. There we go. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to... Uh, new vehicle with a four axle, and then I'm going to go to the schedule, and I'm going to shift. No. There we go. Oh, come on, game. End of shared orders, good. Those are shared orders, good. So I've got shared orders here. And I'm just going to uh, do it from here as well. As I'm just going to control C the orders so they're shared. That'll just save me time. So I have two trams running this route essentially. And that'll allow me to operate these as trams. But yeah, if you guys are enjoying the Open TDD series, uh, please like and subscribe and comment down below. Uh, I'm doing a chance for people to get a shout out in my future videos from recording sessions. So if you want a chance to get a shout out, then please comment down below uh, suggestions or your favorite parts or something. And also do like and subscribe. But yeah. It's a nice little chance for you all to get something special out of interacting. And I'm just going to need to figure out how to run this uh, monorail here. If I run things clockwise, and I can keep running things, obviously. But, yeah. Either way, um, I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, bye!